We have a problem with our fireplace. These 130 year old support slabs sit above our new floorboards and we have to find a way to hide them. So watch as two novices absolutely guess their way through how to build a massive fireplace hearth using anything and everything they probably shouldn't and tile it to get an end result even I can't believe. We found that there weren't many videos online on how to do this so we really had to make it up as we went along but I had a brainwave. Let's pour a self-leveling compound for the base and tile on top of it, so that's what we did. Started by cleaning the floorboards and marking out how big we wanted the base to be. Then we primed it using this leftover primer from our shower tanking kit, which said it was out of date, but who cares, I'm not drinking it. Taped off the bricks too, because we spent far too long restoring them to just cover them in splashes. Neil then built a wooden barrier using some strips of timber, and I'd say this is where it got weird. We used expanding foam to fill all the gaps in the floorboards so the self-leveler wouldn't just trickle down to the ceiling below imagine it just raining like cement on your head all those stupider shit has happened in this house then we tried to build the wooden barrier to pour the self-leveling into but we couldn't screw or nail it down well so neil thought let's just stick it down using the expanding foam genius or madness you'll find out so that's what we did and i did ask him can you still see the lines on the floor when you're sticking that down and he said yes but i think he was lying to be honest anyway we stuck it in place let it dry holding our breath that it would work and did it the only way to find out if it would work was to get pouring. I had visions of the self-leveling compound we were using to make the base just spilling out through the sides and ruining our brand new floorboards all mixed up and ready to go and it actually worked. Sometimes the solution isn't sensible guys, sometimes you've just got to try the silly idea and see what happens. In this case it was absolutely fine, apart from the fact this hearth is so big that one 20 kilogram bag of self-leveling wasn't enough so we had to pour another one a day later but once the barrier came off we were so pleased of how it looked perfect nope good enough oh absolutely i used the same primer from part one to prime the base mainly so the moisture from the adhesive wouldn't be pulled straight down into it these were the tiles i'd picked and i'm going for quite a simple grid layout to make things easy or so i thought what ensued was nine hours of stress tiling starting with overhanging this lovely brass trim just the right amount so a little slither could butt up against it from the floor yeah that took an hour i went solo on this because how hard could it be boys do it and do i regret it feminism says no but my aching back says yes luckily all the first tiles fit in the center part perfectly with no cuts but that's where the luck ended quite soon i realized i'd have to fill a tiny gap at the back with minuscule slithers of tiles the tiling part was fairly simple as i was going for a simple grid layout using ready-made tile adhesive totally made up the system here i've seen back buttering as a thing but who knows if that made any difference anyway this looks like it's nearly done but my god this was just the beginning i now had gaps at the sides that needed cut Cuts, gaps at the back which kick-started hours and hours and hours of measuring and cutting down teeny tiny bits of tile over and over again and because I'm not a nice person I absolutely would wish this on my worst enemy thank the lord for electric tile cutters and by the lord I mean Lady Gaga of course because this would have been an absolute monster of a job without one a day later I whipped out all the spacers gave the tiles a wipe over and then time to grout this was a messy but glorious tile Ask, you have to trust the process so over the space of about 13 hours in total we've gone from this to this we now have a glorious fireplace half made from scratch and those 130 year old support stones are nowhere to be seen 